What's going on guys? Nick here and we are back at it again with another video, although slightly different. So uh, I just had my vehicle rented out and it's been missing for about a week. I've been trying to have it picked up and long story short, the uh, the renter has been kind of going back and forth and being just very sketch. When the tow truck arrives, the vehicle seems to not be here or uh, you know, there's something else that comes up that I'm just unable to retrieve my vehicle. So today I, uh, even though I have to go to my day job, I say, you know what, screw it. Let me go see where this thing is at. And I found it, so I'm gonna flip the camera around. Uh, I'm parked right in front of it, uh, but earlier when I parked, somebody came out into a different vehicle and they were getting things out of the car. So I don't want them to know that I'm here. The window was rolled down, the spare tire's on. So uh, it's not looking good, uh, but let me flip the camera around and kind of go uh, into it. So what I'm going to do is zoom into my side mirror. There is the Mazda 2. They have bright yellow wheels, the spare. On the other side, the window is down. So I have visual confirmation that the car is here. Uh, so I called Turo Assistance. I'm waiting on them at this point. So, yeah. So because of this, this has been going on maybe for about a week. Um, I purchased a GPS yesterday on Amazon. Once it arrives, I'm gonna install it and see how it how it works, if it's any good, and then maybe I'll uh, I'll show you all a quick review on it. So uh, at the moment, I'm just waiting for the tow truck guys to get here, and then once they load the truck up and then drop it off at my destination, I'll kind of assess what's going on, if any damages. Uh, the only thing I know for a fact is the window, since it's rolled down, it rained pretty hard here in Austin yesterday, so I'm guessing that interior is probably soaked. So uh, that's, nothing that it can't be fixed with a wet vac so i'm not tripping out too much not stressing out about it it's just more of an annoyance because i want to get this car back i want to get it back on the road and want to get uh, get it back to making money so let's go ahead and take a quick pause i'm gonna wait for the tow truck guys to come up and uh, get the vehicle and then we'll uh, continue forward from there all right quick update so the tow, dr uh, tow truck driver did give me a call uh, luckily he is local so he's only going to be a few minutes with the Turo app, they give you an update with a, uh, a link to the app uh, to show where the tow truck driver is. So uh, that's good to know. The only thing I'm kind of uh, not worried about, but if these people come back, uh, the people that I saw previously, that's going to be a very awkward conversation to have. So uh, we'll see what happens and uh, go from there. Oh man, here we go. We got back up. All right. So let me go ahead and stop the camera because he's going to need the code, but finally oh yeah here we go here we go <laughs> oh that little spare man i don't even have the tool for that so i don't know how they did that but let's get this going oh man here we go this is a good sign there's a little bit of damage on the on the back and the rear so i'm gonna have to report it and it is on its way back to my pickup location so I'm going to get a quick bite to eat and then try to beat this guy there. So that process was pretty easy. The guy was pretty friendly. Uh, he didn't mind me recording. Uh, I did notice a, a new kind of bump on the bumper and then some additional scratches on the right hand side. So I'm kind of bummed out about that. Uh, when the guy uh, said he turned on the vehicle, uh, that there was knocking on the engine. So it's all speculation how much damage is done to the vehicle. And while this was going on, uh, John, my point of contact from Truro, had called me uh, to see if everything was okay. I told him I found the vehicle and uh, he's going to email me a form uh, with any additional damage that uh, has been done to the vehicle. That way we can document it and uh, get it fixed. So right now I'm going to go... Uh, get a bite to eat maybe some chipotle and then uh head back and then we'll uh, continue off from there so here's a quick walk around i was noticing how the front tire was replaced it looks like uh on the tire that they were riding against some kind of curb so there was some damage towards the rear quarter panel of the vehicle as you can kind of see right there it's a little bit more pushed in opening the door it smelled uh, a little weird in here and then the uh, interior was just dirty man i have no idea what they did there's ashes leaves some kind of sticky stuff behind the steering wheel not cool and the uh, back seat same thing it looks like they're riding with the windows down so whatever was in the front the debris kind of just made its way back there walk around the back 
here is that tire. As you can tell, they were probably driving against a curb or hit something, and then there was a dingage on the, uh, the rim right there. And then on the right hand side, pretty much the same thing. There's all these like black scuff marks and additional scratches uh, right there. So maybe a touch up pen can take care of that. And uh, yeah, just opening the jars or the passenger side door. Pretty much the same thing. Just this weird odor. And then uh, hopping inside, the vehicle left with 108K mileage. And uh, you can see right there, it is on completely empty and uh, 110K, almost 111. All right, folks, I'm gonna end the video there. I just got the email from Turo about submitting my photos with the damages and what I expect to be corrected. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that. Uh, in the meantime, yeah, I thought this would make an interesting video. I'll probably provide an update once. All right, folks, hate to interrupt the video. So when I uh, filed some of the photos up into the app for Turo to review, they did give me some, uh, some money back for uh, charges. So let me go ahead and read them off to you. Uh, additional usage, late fee, improper return fee, cleaning, excessive damage, gas reimbursement, all which totaled up to about three ninety one with ninety six cents. So that has been accredited to my account, and the excessive distance, man, a thousand thirty three miles. Like, where <laughs> where did this person drive to? I kind of wish I had a GPS on the vehicle, but uh, yeah. So t uh, additional usage looks like uh, fifty two sixty seven. So my earnings were $23.25, late fee $15, improper return fee $37.50, cleaning fee $150, so that's good because this thing is filthy. Uh, the excessive uh, distance was, let's see here, $0.15 cents for each additional mile, uh, which I got $116.21 uh, out of, and then the gas reimbursement of $50. Bucks. So uh, yeah, so that is a quick breakdown of the fees that I got handed back to me. I'm still in the middle of filing the claims for the damages. But with that said, let's go ahead and get back to the video. Uh, all the damages and everything are calculated for Turo. And uh, if you guys like the video, hit the sub button. Follow your boy on his journey. All right, guys. Check it next time.